Liz here. I'm a Lancashire lass and I'm 38, currently living in Kilkenny in Ireland. And I wanted to record a video for you just to give my appreciation for your series, which I've been really enjoying with people sharing their stories. And just to give you my story and how the lockdown has been for me, um, I felt very lonely having the lockdown and a lot of a lot of pain with things I see. Even I went for a swim today in in the river and there's covey signs everywhere and this beautiful lake. Well, it's not a lake, it's just this part of the river. And I saw a kid in the back of a car with a mask on and just little heartbreaks all the time and, and even bigger ones and, and the thought of the future where I might need a, a vaccine to go and visit my, my parents. And I have been, for five years, I've been looking into alternative media and navigating my way through that through all the crazy stuff and you know the Pizzagate stuff and, and lizard people and finally I found the real gems in that because there really are um, and I feel that with you I think you're, you, you seem like a lovely kind person who cares about truth and freedom and my other favourites are James Corbett of the CorbettReport.com and Derek Bros of the Conscious Resistance, just two to mention. And yeah, I'm a subscriber to the Corbett Report. And a month ago, he asked us to take charge of our area and try and spread awareness about the the tyranny that's in the midst and so he gave us all the challenge to do what we can and i am a full-time vegetable organic vegetable grower but my talent i suppose is is songwriting well you you can judge for yourself because i'm going to sing a song that just sums up how I feel about everything. And it's called Fight, Resist, Struggle, an ode to James Corbett. I'm feeling the push, I'm feeling the pull to go places cruel and cold. Why are we here, sitting around, doing nothing but what we're told? I'm getting wise to the lies, we're getting wise to the lies we're told. for us, that's you and me, another for them, the powers that be, then they rule us all, they only think they do, they only seem to, what do we want, 
you very much. Um, it's great to have a community of people, even if it is online. And one more thing to mention is coming up this 8th of August is hashtag expose Bill Gates Day. And it's the second one. The first one was a really good success. It was trending all day on Twitter. And so I'm going to make a flyer just going through some of the, the details on Bill Gates. And if you haven't looked into it, it's very interesting how he is one of the most important figures that we need to understand to understand how this whole system operates and he's got his finger in every pie of the COVID-19. And so if anyone feels like they, they agree, do what you can on the 8th. So share videos, change your profile picture, and you can find a really wonderful Gates series if you go to corbettreport.com slash Gates. And... Thanks for uh, listening to my video.